So Apple has released a new beta today. iOS 17.4 Developer Beta 4 is now officially out for registered developers. And for public beta testers, you'll most likely see this within the next 24 hours or so. Now coming from beta 3 to beta 4, the download was approximately 571 megabytes on the iPhone 15 Pro Max that I'm currently testing on iOS 17.4. Now there's a few things to talk about here. Apple has brought some major changes to the battery health feature which we'll cover in this video but before then I want to talk about the latest build number here for this one iOS 17.4 developer beta 4 build number is 21E5209 B. Now we can still expect maybe one more beta, the RC or release candidate, and then the official release. I'm thinking this software should be available to the general public early to mid March. So we're getting really close here to an official release. Now, before we get to some of the latest new changes here, I also want to point out that aside from iOS 17.4 beta 4, Apple also released iPad OS. 17.4 beta 4 mac os 14.4 beta 4 is available for the mac tv os 17.4 beta 4 is available for the apple tv there's also vision pro vision os 1.1 beta 3 and watch os 10.4 beta 4 so betas were released across the board as per usual and i want to talk about the iphone and ios in general because with this beta apple actually brings quite a bit of improvements to apple maps and carplay as well so let's go ahead and dive right in so the first thing i want to talk about is some of the latest updates to carplay and ios 17.4 apple brings a new instrument cluster experience for carplay now with vehicles that support carplay and apple maps will present a new instrument cluster experience with information about upcoming maneuvers. User will be able to swap the desired display types between the main and the instrument cluster screen by tapping on the maps configuration button on the upper right corner of the maps main screen. So Apple is definitely continuing to improve Apple Maps and of course CarPlay for vehicles and the new instrument cluster will be available within iOS 17.4 or later. Now as I mentioned before there's also some new changes happening to battery health so as we jump into settings here and we go into battery right there it is we go into battery health we now have a new battery health status right there it is it says normal 100% maximum capacity. We now have the cycle count, we have the manufacture date, and then we have the first use. And let me compare that to an iPhone 14 Pro Max here, for example. So let's go into battery health and charging optimization options. You see right there that we do get the number for the maximum capacity, but now Apple makes it clear and easier to understand if your battery is at a normal state, okay? So you tap here, you get this splash screen here, and Apple says that the original battery was designed Designed to retain 80% of its capacity at 1,000 cycles under the ideal conditions. So Apple tells you that 1,000 cycles under ideal conditions should give you at least 80%, right? So you shouldn't drop below that if you have your iPhone. You know, typically under ideal conditions means not extended heat or exposed to direct sunlight and things like that. So Apple is making it easier for users to understand battery health and if the battery health is normal. So I usually get a lot of questions is 70 okay is 80 okay well you have to wonder no more because with ios 17.4 you'll get the normal status right there if your battery life or battery health is at a normal state now before ios 17.4 the battery cycle count and manufacture data and all that good stuff was under the about section it is no longer available there that has been moved over to the battery section as i mentioned and the optimized battery charging option has also been separated here as you can see with ios 17.4 so its own sub menu is now available for iphone users now this is only for the iphone 15 and 15 pro because as you see here the iphone 14 pro max does not have this option and we're running the same beta here ios 17.4 beta 4 so yeah this new change only applies for the iphone 15 and 15 pro I'm not sure if Apple will eventually uh, move this over to other devices as well. But yeah, those are some of the biggest changes happening to battery health. And this is one of the biggest changes, honestly, to battery health on the iPhone in forever. So yeah, iOS 17.4, developer beta 4 is here, public beta testers. In the next 24 hours or so, you'll see this populate. I just wanted to share this quick update. Make sure to stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.